Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM. Well, we still have some summer left, unless you live at Jeremy's house, and it rains all the time there. But hopefully, you've been out on your patios enjoying the summer. But you know what happens in the summertime. Those wow. mosquitoes, and they've been worse this year, probably because of the rain. I can't even enjoy my patio, Kelly, because it rains all the time. <laughs> hey, but maybe this will help. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's always raining. <laughs> At your house. But, Jeremy, I have a fix if you want to sit outside okay. and it's pretty and uh, the, the bugs don't like it. Oh, well, good. Then. Okay? Keep them so away. So, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. They don't like citrus. Can you imagine that the bugs don't like citrus? So, mosquitoes don't like citrus no. and smells and or flavors. It. No, they don't. And so, we're going to cut up some lemon and lime and we're going to okay. put them in these gorgeous jars here. With this big old dot dagger, I'll tell you. So just cut up some lemon and lime, and as I cut this, Jeremy, I'm going to have you go ahead and put it in that jar. Okay, I'm going to move this jar over here to okay. me. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to have you put that in there. Now, okay. like I say, I've noticed in my garden uh, that the herbs, a lot of the herbs, they don't bother. Uh, the bugs like they they like the roses, they like the peonies, they like. Uh, uh, the Do you want me to put these in too? Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, unless you don't think they look good. Oh, well, they're not pretty, but. Okay, well, take, <laughs> take, take them out then. We don't want them out. No, not pretty. Just, that's got to go. I was okay. like, it's like the, uh, okay. what do you call the end of the bread? The heel? Is oh, that the heel? heel? I love the heel. Do, do you? Not, I, love I hate the heel. the heel. Sorry, that reminded what? me of the heel. Really? I hate the heel. I love the heel. Okay, so put those in, and then I'm going to go ahead with the lime, or the lemon too. We're gonna put those in, kind of make them pretty. Can we put them around? Do you want to raise the side? The I was just gonna ask you that, and I put them on the side, side of the jar because we want them to be pretty too. Now this is the kind of thing that uh, we're gonna use essential oils in, and you would be able to smell those essential oils for days. Now the herbs that I'm putting in probably would only last a few days, uh, till they might get a little soggy and not be as as good. Okay. Let me okay. See. I'm trying to balance these up here, but it does. Yeah. Look no, the, you just do what you do there. Okay, okay. There we go. so a couple lemons and a couple of limes, one for each jar. You can uh, be creative in the whatever jar you use. It's just that um, I'm going to put a floating candle at the top, and I wanted to make sure that the candle fit in the jar. Okay, oh, that's okay. looking great. Okay, let's do that. I'm trying to make that very pretty. That's where gorgeous. You see that in the gap. That's a kind of a big one. Okay. All right, once we've done that, got a few more there. Okay. Once we've done that, Jeremy, now let me just tell you. These are the herbs from my yard, and last time I brought them in, uh, you know, they kind of turned brown, and so oh. I picked them last night because I wanted to go ahead and do that, but I kept them in water, and How they, they are out? green as green can be. Perfect. Now, smell this. This is rosemary. That's another strong, mm. strong smell. A lot of bugs do not like it, and it looks gorgeous in the jar, so we're going to do that. Here's another piece of rosemary in the other one. Can I call this rosemary Clooney? You sure can. Thank you. Now look at these. Oh, uh, that one. Did, there's a little piece of brown on that one, but look how lovely this is. This mm. is my basil, and the smell is so rich. Mm, Isn't it so gorgeous? Rich. Now, if you want to, you can leave it all in one piece. Okay. What if I break it up to give a little bit more texture yeah, in there? Yeah, that's great. Let's do that. Oh, gosh, that's strong. Yeah, my that my basil is... did so well this year. It just did amazing. Oh yeah, there because we, we are going to put that uh, that candle on the top, and it's got to have room to get right. down in there. I'm really proud of this uh, arranging we were doing. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, so now what I want to do, first of all, I want to use this water because they have been marinating in this. Oh, good so call. So definitely don't want to waste that. You know, you know, like when you make potatoes, don't you ever use like the potato water? Yeah, it's infused water. water now. Yeah, and you want to use it for your gravy or whatever like yeah. that. Okay, now here we go. The oils, you can use all kinds of oils. Different <clears throat> bugs like uh, dislike different oils, okay. but here's a few of them. That um, the mosquitoes don't like citronella. We'll do about ten drops of citronella okay. in each one of those. Now, Jerry, go ahead and add a little bit more water. A little to bit those. more yeah. water. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they'll look pretty. And now this is the one I don't understand. They don't like lavender. I love lavender. Oh, I love lavender. I don't know why they wouldn't like lavender. I love. I have a lavender sheet spray that I can. I spray on my sheets. Oh, you do. And it's so wonderful. Is that enough water or That's more? That's perfect. And peppermint. Is a very strong fragrance. They don't oh. like peppermint. And then that's another thing they don't bother in my yard. The peppermint that I grow? Nope. Now smell this. Have you ever smelled lemongrass? Mm. Well, it's strong, it's, isn't it? It's not. It's very strong. Just out of the jar, it's not my favorite. No. It kind of has like a lemony, but then like an, an after smell. Right. There's a lot a of harsh. other oils that the bugs don't like, um, but you can choose the ones. You don't have to use them all in one jar. They don't like eucalyptus and that sort of thing. And then we're going to set the floating candle in the top. 
Nice. Look how pretty that is. Nice. And then I've got two, or no, I've got three matches. So if oh, if, don't waste it. Okay, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. okay. Hopefully light it's it. Work. Light it. There, there it is. we go. There we go. Don't burn your hands. Come on, come on. Come oh, you on. did it. Okay, yes. there we go. Look how pretty that is, and that can sit out on your patio and help repel the bugs and just look look gorgeous. Now, will you, as the human, will you smell it and think it smells good? And then the bugs smell it and think, eh, I'm staying away I from there. I think so. I don't think that you'll be able to smell all the smells in there, you know, as they're sitting. But, again, a lot of these I do like. And let me just say, this, this lavender chair is going to work really nice for you. Oh, because I haven't showered. Because um, you haven't oh, showered wow. today. And, um, to, yeah, and you know go. what else it's going to do for you? It's going to make everybody happy around you, and it's going to calm you down. That's what That's lavender right. does. Is it really calm I you down? I put it in my hands and on my face, and I sleep at night Okay. With that. Oh, wow. I yeah. Isn't that great? You're going to smell me coming. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's a fun little project, and that's my Pinterest project of the week. Give it a try. We'll be back with more Ozarks Fox AM. Don't go anywhere. Do you smell? It smell I can smell oh, it from here. I'm so, I'm so relaxed. I'm like, wow. oh, gosh. that is great. I'm going to calm down now. Yeah. Isn't that nice?